Hello, this is an integration guide for Simple Traffic System version 1.0.26 with stylized vehicle packs low poly. And both of these assets are available on the Unity Asset Store. I currently have the latest versions of each imported into my project. All of the project settings for Simple Traffic System are already set up. I'll navigate to the Simple Traffic System integration folder to find the stylized vehicle pack file and double click it. This will prompt a Unity import window. If it does not, you can select Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and navigate to the same folder, select the same file, and select Open. And from here, I'll select Import. Now I have the Stylized Vehicles Pack folder inside of my Prefabs folder, and if I expand it, I can find the Combined and the Full Car Prefabs. Let's take a quick look at the Combined Prefabs. So if I open that up, I have the car model with the four wheels and it also has the car body with the material separated for brake light emission. Now if I go to the full prefab and open that, it has some additional objects which can be used for customization, but it's less optimized. So if I select the front door, for example, and expand the transform, I can rotate the y-axis to open or close the door, which is pretty cool. And I can also select the window and move that up or down on the y-axis, which is pretty cool. So in this example, I'll be using the combined prefabs because they're more optimized. And to get started, I'll select the AI traffic controller in the default demo scene. And first I will select the AI traffic controller and lock the inspector. Then I'll select the car one, hold down the shift key and select truck one so that it selects all of the prefabs and I'll drag them and drop them into the traffic prefabs array. From here, this scene is actually set up to spawn cars from the waypoint routes. So if I select a waypoint route and I'll unlock the inspector, we can see it has an option spawn from AI traffic. This is the AI traffic controller. I'm going to select all of the routes under AI traffic waypoint routes and hold down shift to select them and then I'll select spawn from AI traffic. So now all of these routes will get their spawn cars from this prefab array instead of the prefab array that's attached to them. From here I can press play and I'll switch over to the scene view and we can see that stylized traffic vehicles are now driving in the scene. So I could zoom out a little bit, and since this scene does not use pooling, we can actually view the entire scene and see the cars driving around. And for the next example, I will go to the demo pooling scene and open that. Next, I'll select the AI traffic controller. Since this scene is already set up to use traffic prefabs from the AI traffic controller, I will just clear out this array and I'll lock the inspector again. Then I'll shift select all of these prefabs and bring them over. And now I can press play. So here we can see we're in the pooling scene and we are getting a couple hundred frames per second. So it's running pretty well. And this is in the Unity editor, so it should run a little bit better in a final build since the editor has some overhead. Depending on where you're actually viewing the scene from, the performance may go up or down. If I look at the scene view, we can see that cars are actually being pooled around the camera. Here's the camera. And if I enable the gizmos, and I currently have in the preferences a lot of these gizmos disabled. Let me go ahead and select Preferences, Simple Traffic System, and I'll show the traffic pooling gizmo. So we can see that the cars are basically staying inside of this zone. And that's how you use stylized vehicle packs low poly with Simple Traffic System.